So anyway, I took a shit in his dryer and beat his ass. <laughs> it was literally legit lit. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I thought that was you. Do you remember me? I don't think so. I tried to stretch your skin into a beanbag chair in the mountains a couple weeks ago. Oh, that's right. How are you? Things are great. I got a new freezer in my basement. Wait, who's this guy? Um, this is Tyler. What up? Wait, I'm confused. You hate riding in people's trucks. No, I don't. Well, you hopped out of mine with no thought for my feelings. Well, could it also have something to do with the fact that you wanted to murder me in the woods? Oh, I see. So you'll get ice cream with this asshole, but being turned into a throw pillow on my couch is suddenly too much. I'd prefer not to be turned into any kind of furniture. She's not interested, bro. Back off. go back to my place and I'll show you my collection of UFC snapbacks. Okay. Right. You guys are bullies. Stay tuned for the thrilling continuation of that series. But anyway, met up with Kat in the city this time because she wanted to learn a little bit of street photography, which I pretend to be good at. So we went out around sunset, um, early golden hour. We didn't stay out super long, but just enough time to get some nice light and shadow and then golden hour throughout the city. So concentrated mostly on the high contrast stuff, which I usually do. Um, I usually tend to use the Lumix for this kind of stuff, but I had let Kat use it. So I took the giant 24 to 70 on the Sony a7 III, which I'm quickly becoming a little bit tired of. Just the sheer size of it means everybody knows I have a camera and I've been drawing myself more towards small compact cameras, so I'm actually considering getting a Ricoh GR3X whenever it finally comes out. So if any of you guys have used a Ricoh GR3, let me know. I'm just not a huge fan of the 28 millimeter, but as far as the camera itself, if you could just let me know how you're liking it and whether or not you thought it was a worthy purchase. Anyway, let's get into this. Don't forget to keep an eye open for the pug hidden in this video because if you're the first person to correctly post the timestamp where it's at, I'll climb into the back seat of your car before you go to work and I'll give you a nice surprise massage. Another bit of a failed attempt, kind of wish I would have stuck around. I do really like this background and the shapes that the light hitting it makes, but I wish somebody was just a little bit closer to it so I could get a more defined outline of a person's head. This one and actually this spot turned out to be probably my favorite of the day. Just the way that the light streaming through these slats and the little fence make these nice lines on everybody walking. So I waited for a, a couple to go and luckily he was kind of whispering in her ear and then I got Kat in the background too, shooting a different scene. Thank you. 
I'm not sure why I did this. I hate Dutch angles. Still kind of interesting with the shadows though. I thought this composition was a bit interesting. I don't think it's particularly strong, but I do think that it's very complex and almost pleasing in a way that it sort of invites you to look a little bit deeper. I do wish that the subjects were a little more pronounced though. Again, a sort of a fun thought here trying to put this railing into this girl's mouth like a cigar but I was also trying to catch Kat in the reflection with her silhouette but I think she was just a little bit too small in the frame to really be noteworthy. Portrait photographers really like to sprawl out all over the city and take up spots for hours at a time. So what if they're getting paid? I'm more important. This is probably another one of my favorites. I caught her in the perfect stride and her shadow just happened to line up on that pillar just at the right time. Again, back to this spot, I kind of had to climb over the railing and balance very awkwardly and uncomfortably to get these shots, but I think they kind of turned out pretty nice. I love these lines and I love how the light hitting these guys in the face just happens to be right where there's shadow in the background so they stand out really nicely. This video will end not with a bang, but with a whimper. 
And the final shot being some silverware and glasses. I do really enjoy these shots though. I think they convey some nice peace to them. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching this far. I got some really interesting and ridiculous ideas coming here pretty soon, so make sure you get subscribed and like this video so it gets pushed to more people that can laugh at how stupid I am. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.